pretty is that? The not so lowly choke cherry. And I am with these two goddesses, Kitty and Sandy. And they're the ones that wrote this book. And we're gonna have some fun today in the kitchen. Um, Kitty and I were at the local library and she's like, here goddess, see if you can make something out of this. Challenge. And I tasted it and I'm like, oh my goodness, we're gonna make two yummy things. And she has some dip that she brought and we're gonna taste that, so. And here's to a successful experiment here. Hello, right. doctor. Okay. This is the very first recipe I came out with that worked. This is the one that convinced me, yes, this is possible. All we have so far is uh, four ounces of cream cheese, just slightly beaten. And if, this is so easy to make. All you need, uh, you don't even have to make a whole batch of the choke cherry juice in order to do this one. So um, uh, Sandy will get this started. I'm going to, I, I, it says between a quarter and a half a cup and I don't think we'll need that much. It's very powerful. So okay. Sandy, you want to start the mixer and we'll sure get will. this going? I cannot believe how beautiful that color is. Hey? Yeah, very pretty. pretty I mean, look at it. it. It really reacts well with the cream cheese. Oh my yes. gosh, I yes, love it. Yes, it does. Okay, this is so simple. Yum. All right. So now you're going to just, there. No, here, let's we're, get this out of uh, here. No, we, okay. need that, we need that yet. Because, oh, you're going to beat that? Because we're going to yeah. beat oh. in the cheese. Okay, this is about a cup of, of uh, sharp cheddar cheese. Uh, you can use probably any kind, but I like the sharp cheddar. Yeah, I love so, white cheddar. So, so good. Mm -hmm. Now that gets beat again, too. It huh, sure does. Mm. We separated these dips. And this one, we put some coconut in it. Why not? Yeah, I've never tried. Um, and this one has the cheese and the nuts. Right. This one doesn't have any it nuts. It has it has cheese and the coconut, but it does not have So should nuts, we taste right? them and Let's see? see. Mm -hmm. I have an assortment here. I have some wheat thins, classic wheat okay. thins. I've got some vanilla wafers. I've got some uh, nut cri roasted almond wheatables nut crisps. And then I thought people are so into the salty and sweet right, these days. Right. That, correct. And I've never tried the pretzels either. So well, this that would is be new. good. And we haven't and we tried got some the fruit. fruit so, so this is I'm going to try, try it on try. a piece of cantaloupe. This one has the coconut. Mm. Mm. Does it work? That's good. I like it. And then you can taste the cheese. Can you? Yeah. That's, that's what I like about it. You know, and that the sharp cheddar is so good. Yes, yes, that was white, sharp cheddar. I'm going to do something with the fruit, too, with that. Oh, okay. So, oh. We're, I'm looking forward to well, your discoveries here. Try a little of the, uh, the walnut. Mmm. It's so good. I love the nuts in it. So I good. Which do you prefer? I like that one better. Okay. But, you know. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ooh, you can add both the nuts and the coconut, too. Mm -hmm. Who's, you know, this is experimenting. I've got to try. It feels good I've with got this. to try a pretzel because I was curious. Mm, it feels good with the wine too. Okay. Mm. I've got to try a little of the honeydew. Mm. Uh, I want to try a pretzel. Oh my gosh! That's, you, did you try a pretzel? Mm. Yeah, I tried it in the nut. Isn't one. it good? I really like the fruit. Isn't it good? With the mm-hmm. Well, I'm going to do a play on Kung Pao chicken, and I'm going to use the um, juice for the sauce, and it's going to be a little spicy. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do a balsamic vinegar drizzle for the fruit. Sounds With good. It. That sounds very that sounds good. good. Like